Telangana registered the highest percentage growth in gross irrigated area, 15 lakh hectares added compared to the coastal regions, 10 lakh hectares. Look at the canal irrigation. You probably have heard many times the separatists saying that in irrigation, in water resources, Telangana is discriminated, Telangana is backward. In fact, they keep saying that coastal Andhra has been stealing water from the Telangana region. Now look at the percentage growth in the irrigated land since the formation of the state. Which is the region which has marked and registered the highest percentage of growth in the irrigated area? Now, tank irrigation. This is very interesting. Tank irrigation suffered throughout the state. In coastal Andhra, it went down. In Raya Sima, it went down. In Telangana, it has gone down. And the worst sufferer is Raya Sima. And in addition to the canal irrigation, phenomenal growth registered by the Telangana region in canal irrigation, now you see, it, in addition to the kind of growth that has registered in canal irrigation, this is an addition of tube well irrigation, phenomenal growth of tube well irrigation in Telangana. And what more data, what more argument does one require to say that Telangana has not been discriminated at all and on the other hand, Telangana has registered phenomenal growth in these sectors. Now look at the factory employment. Now, many people might argue that factory employment, if you take Hyderabad and surrounding areas together, might show you a, a huge figure. But you can also have a disaggregated data without Hyderabad region. Also, you can have a look at it. What is the coastal Andhra, coastal districts, factory employment per thousand people? and what is Rayal Simas and what is Telanganas and what is Telangana without the region of Hyderabad, you can very, very clearly see. Now, this is the data of the AP Industry Development Corporation, AP IDC. Look at the region-wise industries in the state. Now, this is very important because some time ago, there were huge number of SMS going around in the state of Andhra Pradesh as well as outside that in education there was a complete discrimination and neglect of Telangana region. But please have a look at the data of the number of schools, number of children that were added to the schools since the formation of the state. This is very important. Compared to 1956, Telangana has 54 additional degree college students for every 10,000 people, whereas in coastal Andhra, only 39 were added for. Now, this brings us to the argument that because of political dis discrimination, Telangana has not been able to develop. Now, please have a look at this. You have the region, you have the chief ministers, base in office, percentage of base, and number of ch chief ministers. Rail Sima had had the largest percentage of base of chief ministers, but you have seen from the data how backward Rail Sima is. After about a year of study by the expert, experts, a group of experts, Sri Krishna committee has come out with some of the findings and some of the findings are these. Deprived region is Rayal Sima and not Telangana. It is not the size of the state that matters but the quality of governance which Sri Anir Redigal had said in his uh, opening remarks. Growing levels of inequality within Telangana with within the deprived population groups. That is, that has been the phenomenon in Telangana. Deepening inequality will sustain the separatist vegetation and will carry it further and increase its intensity. Masses used as tools of vegetation by the political parties. These were some of the findings of the Sri Krishna committee. Telangana is doing well on various indicators of reproductive and child health as compared to Bayan Sima and coastal Amra. Consumption of electricity in Telangana region is the highest as compared to other regions, indicating the prosperous state of the region. You can ask any economist. Any economist will tell you two most important indicators. One is the per capita income. The other is the per capita consumption of electricity and power. In both these, you can see the Telangana region has registered very, very significant 
development, significant advance and significant progress since the formation of Anand. Now, before we go to the, 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 the charts in this, I would like to say a few words. The reason why we wanted you to be here is that whether you agree with us or not, whether you have any misgivings about our stand or not is a different matter altogether. But if you are a democrat, if you respect the democratic rights of people, Vishalandra Mahasabha, we want you to give us a hearing without hurling abuses at us, without attacking us, without intimidating us, without physically beating us up. This is something that we want you to give us. We know very well that we are in a silent majority. As I told you, Vishalandra Mahasabha has people from all the regions, from Telangana too. But today the separatists are creating an impression in the country that not a single voice from Telangana is for an integrated state, which is not true. Lacks and lacks of people from Telangana are for an integrated state. Who will you have a better champion in that than Narra Madhava, than Kumar Chaudhriya, than Venkataiya, than Venkatesh, than Yashasri. There are people like this, than Chakravarti. Tell me. But because of intimidation, because of threats, because of physical violence, these voices are not heard. That is the reason why we came here, we want to present this to you and we want you to understand this. We want you to understand that there is absolutely no argument for a separate state for bifurcating the state of Andhra Pradesh. We will briefly show you what kind of an abuse, what kind of an intimidation, what kind of a statement are being given by the separatists in Andhra Pradesh. Now the leader of one of the political parties which says that the political party is born for creating the state of Telangana says our goal is separate Telangana, fine. If we get Telangana, it is fine. That's also okay. I mean, we have, if you want to argue that you know Telangana state has to be created, by all means to argue. But otherwise, when there is no other way for people, unnatural incidents would happen, it may lead to a civil war. That is what uh, somebody who is sitting in parliament, somebody who leads a political party in a democratic India says. Now, another leader, he says he wants the state and union governments to remember Million March Mayhem. I'll tell you what the Million March Mayhem is a little later. Before denying permission to the party's 10th anniversary public meeting proposed to be held in Hyderabad. You want to create mayhem? He's a legislator. He sits in the assembly. A senior IAS official and managing director of AP Janko, Mr. Vijayanand, was assaulted by the Telangana leaders in his own office. Now, this is very interesting. Telangana separatist leaders say that their agenda is Naxal agenda. They follow Maoist agenda. Now, many former Naxals have joined the movement. They can move, they can join anywhere. We have absolutely no problem. But I just want you to understand that the TRS leadership says that it is their ranks, the Naxal ranks which are filling the Telangana movement and the TRS 
and their agenda is TRS agenda. Now, this is something I want you to pay attention to. In this country, in our democratic polity, we have the freedom to air our views, we have the freedom, we have the freedom to present our arguments. Now here is somebody who says, again, a very responsible member of the lower house of Indian Parliament Lok Sabha, she says, Madam Vijay Santi, if anybody wants to argue against this creation of a separate Telangana, which means that if anybody wants to argue for an integrated state, in other words means, anybody who says Vishalandra has to stay, anybody that means Narra Madhav Rao, Anjaneya Reddy, Parakala Prabhakar, Chakravarti, Yeshashri, Professor Atnur Murali, or uh, Kumar Chaudhary Yadav, or Venkataya, their tongues will be cut, they will be axed. They will not be allowed to go around in our own state. That is the statement of a very responsible member of parliament elected from one of the constituencies in Andhra Pradesh. 